Hi, this is William. Welcome to Flyspoke. Today I'm going to be showing you a fly that's uh, wonderful in New England for landlocked salmon. It's a real simple fly. It's an old style pattern, a uh, wet fly. It's called the Woody and um, um, it, 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 really is, uh, it really is worth having in your box size. This is a size 14, tie 14, 16s, 18s and when you get down into really tiny uh, patterns. You're going to use this as an emerger fly. You're going to uh, put on a wood duck tail rather than the mallard tail in uh, uh, the lemon wood duck so the wing and the tail will be the same. Do them in size 20, 22. Yeah, really, really an amazing fly but you tie it the same way. going to be starting out with a uh, common 3906 Mustad wet fly hook and uh, some black 8 aught, which is 72 denier thread from Uni. Um, don't get, uh, try to find out what the deniers are, and if you stay right around 70 denier, that's a, uh, a nice tying thread for something like this. This is a size 14, and uh, I use uh, the Giorgio Bonacci a lot also, which is a 70 denier. Um, it seems to work just fine for flies even down to uh, size 18s and 20s and even a lot smaller. So I'm just putting on a thread wrap to the back. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm taking a, uh, this is a bronze mallard feather and it happens to be dyed red. And I'm going to take off about, I'd say about 10 of those barbules. Just lightly pull them into place about the same distance back as the point of the hook is forward, right at that spot. And uh, the second item is going to be a thinner piece of some peacock curl. Peacock curl is a, a tremendous body material, just giving off that iridescence that it has. I'm just going to tie that in. And then I'm going to try to just even up my body a little bit using both the mallard and the peacock curl. When I get close to the front, then I'll just take them both off. Gently now, I'm just going to wind the peacock curl, one wrap right next to the other, no overlapping. Just until I get to the front. bit of space for my throat and wing. I put two wraps and I pull the peacock back and I'll put a couple of wraps over it facing back and it'll just pull off. It's never going to come unwrapped like that. Okay. Back to the dyed red bronze mallard and take about an equal quantity. Now in order to make these feathers uh, stand up even, all you do is you pull them back on the feather and just look at the tips and all the tips will get pretty even. And just pinch it off. Now with this, I'm going to put this in and then pull it forward in order to make it exactly where I want it to be. Just put two wraps, three wraps max, pull it down to the bottom and simply just pull it up into place. 
Now it's going to lie flat against the hook until you tighten that wrap. And then it'll come away from the hook a little bit, just like that. Make sure, look at the underside, and make sure that the feather is in the center. You can add a wrap to just make sure it's held down. So you look at it from underneath and you make sure it's centered. And then we're just going to trim that off gently. Never pulling hard. Gentle trims. Okay. And then there I would just add a wrap or two max. Now what I want to do is you see here where the thread is going to end up right now. You don't want the thread on these wraps for the next step ending up in the front. You want it to be ending in the back of where you're tying right now. So that when we tie in the lemon wood duck, which we're going to take this lemon wood duck and use for the wing, we can start our tying back and let it wrap forward to make the head of the fly. And on this here, I'm going to take not a big quantity, maybe 15 barbules. And I want the wing to just be further back than where the tail is tied in. And I'll hold it, grab it there with my other my other hand, trim it right where it's going to get tied in, hold it, and then I can also, with, with my index finger, I can also hold down the tying thread at the same time right there so that instead of fumbling with that I can grab that pretty pretty easily make sure they're all on top nicely and then pull wrap forward you're covering the entire feather now wrap to the back grab one there and then look at the head and just make sure that you're covering everything and the head looks nice and neat doesn't need to be real big it also doesn't need to be super small either and I'm just gonna take and make my whip finishes And I always make sure I'm pulling down so it's finishing to the bottom of the fly. Take my scissor and really try to get up in there tight. Always going to leave a little bit there. I try to use a razor sometimes. don't need really more than one coat of any kind of head cement. Two if you want to make it a little shinier. Woody, there it is.